Across America, President's Day will be Monday, February 17, and a variety of services will be closed across the United States on the day. The holiday, which was originally established in 1885 to honor President George Washington, will provide a much-appreciated three-day weekend for many. But it also means that services such as the U.S. Post Office, banks and public schools will not open on the day. Here's a breakdown of how the holiday could affect your routine. Banks, with the Federal Reserve System not operating on February 17, most banks will stay closed on President's Day. However, ATMs will operate on the holiday and TD Bank will also be open. Courts, courts will not open on President's Day. DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles is rarely a place anybody wants to be and the DMV offices will be closed across the country. Check your local DMV's website for more information as some offices will be closed for the entire President's Day weekend. Stock markets, the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ and bond markets will be closed. Schools, since President's Day is a federal holiday, the majority of schools will be closed on February 17. With that being said, certain private schools and even public schools do not observe the holiday or choose to use the day as a makeup for a snow day earlier in the academic year. President's Day will also be the first day of mid-winter vacation for many schools. Trash pickup in the majority of the United States garbage disposal companies will not be running, so you'll want to plan accordingly. The service will vary, though, meaning you should check with your local provider. United States Postal Service, the Postal Service will not be opening its offices or delivering mail on President's Day. The transition in the holiday's name from Washington's birthday to President's Day began in the late 1960s as part of the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. The bill proposed that the country celebrate holidays on Monday rather than when birthdays fell on the calendar so workers could have a three-day weekend. During the debate of that bill, it was proposed that Washington's birthday be renamed President's Day to celebrate the birthdays of both Washington on February 22 and President Abraham Lincoln's birthday on February 12. Congress actually rejected the name change in the 1968 version of the bill. However, after the bill went into effect in 1971, President's Day became the commonly accepted name.